Today we're whipping up an extra crunchy chicken burger with a ginger and sesame slaw. Says a who? Says a me. Hi guys, uh, we're using thighs because the thighs hold a lot more flavour than the boob. Freshly buttered milk. Pickle juice helps to keep chicken nice and soft and juicy. Your favourite hot pepper sauce. Garlic powder, black pepper powder, monosodium glutamate, a sesame splash and just a few chilli flakes. Wisness that business. Then pop the lid on so that it can marinate a while. This will be happening in the fridge. I couldn't be bothered to do chips, but I fancied potato bits, so they got diced and doused in sesame oil and neutral oil before being caked in miso paste, pepper noir and chilli flakes. Get them in a hot oven and after some minutes you'll have miso spud bites to accompany your delicious burger. I came, I slaw, I conquered and grated a red cabbage. Then a couple of carrots. This slaw will help you see in the dark. Chop a load of sprunions and some leaves of coriander. Get them in with ricey vino vinegar, sesame oils, salt, juice lemon and just a little ginger paste. Give a good mix and admire the colourful colours. Don't forget to shuffle your spuds. Now's a good time to hotten your oil. The chicken's flavours from jacket will be composed of floured corn, garlic powder, pepper noir, pepper of cayenne, onion granules. Please come in, this is a safe space for good spice tastes. A little paprika, a little hot chilli powder, Yes, this recipe does take some time. Oregano, powdery mustard. Then give a whisk and add a little salt. The chicken is brined and ready for the flavour flour. Proper coat the little bastards, then whack them on a plate. Corn flour makes a right mess, so uh, just make sure that you clean that up. Check your oil is nice and hot by dropping in a little flour and hoping for a sizzle. Then allow the thigh to bubble away beautifully until bronzed in the greasiest jacuzzi in the world. A half-time flip won't go amiss. Plop onto a rack and get the rest of them done. We're cooking them one at a time so we can avoid overcrowding the pan and lowering the heat of the oil to a point where it f***s up the chicken. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If Colonel Sanders wants to scrap, I'll two-foot him through the front window of KFC on the Uxbridge Road, just for a laugh. Oh yeah, that's well crisp. Guess what? Spicy mayo is just mayo mixed with nice hot sauce. Spread your brioche buns with mayo for a more flavoursome crispy crunch. Toast in a hot pan until perfecto. Oh yes, look at that there. Spicy mayo, crispy hot chicken, a fistful of zingy colourful slaws, extra spiciness on the lid. Don't forget the extra carbs. Now that's what I call a chicken burger. I don't really know what else I'd call it. The herby spice mix here is a recipe that I just made up on the spot today that will go down as one of the best I've ever done. Properly good heat coming through, but not a painful amount. Think mild sunburn levels, but knowing that you've had a nice time in the sun and you've got a vat of aloe vera nearby. I must trundle now though, sadly, as I have a flute lesson. Toodaloo.